Hi everyone and welcome to IMS's analysis of the second slot of CAT 2019. The second slot took place on 24th November between 2.30 to 5.30 pm. Now that both the slots are over, we can say safely that the conduct of both the slots was without any technical glitches. Not just that, there was no change in the overall pattern or in the types of questions in both the slots from the last three years CAT structure. So if you were to take a brief overview of the test in the second slot, as you can see, um, the test was divided into three, section, the uh, three sections. The first section was uh, the verbal ability and reading comprehension section, uh, which had 34 questions in all. 27 of them were multiple choice questions, whereas the remaining seven were non-MCQs or what we call theta questions, where you type in the answer. Um, the overall level of difficulty of the VA and RC section was medium. Um, the second section was data interpretation and logical reasoning, DI and LR, having 32 questions, 24 of them MCQs and 8 theta questions. The third section, quantitative ability, had 34 questions, 23 of them were MCQs, 11 were theta questions. Um, the level of difficulty of both the DI and the quant sections were again medium. So in all, the CAT had 100 questions with 74 MCQs and 26 theta questions. Um, based on the initial feedback received from several candidates, um, we can estimate the scores and percentiles for slot 2 as shown. Um, so for 99 percentile, a score of 70 would be required in the VARC section, whereas uh, in DILR it would be 49 and in QA it would be 60. Uh, so overall, a score range of about 161 to 164 would get you a 99 percentile. For 95 percentile, you would need 58 in VARC, 38 in DILR and 42 in the QA section with an overall score range of 127 to 130. For 90 percentile, 50 in VARC, 32 in DILR and 33 in QA should get you there um, with an overall score range of 106 to 109. And finally, for 85 percentile, we estimate a score of 42 in VARC, 27 in DILR and 28 in QA with an overall score range of 92 to 95. Remember that these scores and percentiles are based on initial estimates of students who have taken the CAT in the second slot today. Uh, a detailed percentile mapper will follow later. So what's the overall verdict on the test? Uh, the second slot of CAT 2019 was more or less similar to the first slot and CAT 2018 in terms of the level of difficulty. That is overall, because different sections still had different effects. Um, However, there were no surprises or no new question types in, uh, uh, in CAT 2019. Uh, we believe that an overall attempt of about 67 to 69 uh, questions with an accuracy of about 85% should be classified as a good performance in this test and would probably fetch you around 99 percentile. Uh, IMA students have reported uh, a great deal of similarity between the SIMCATs and the CAT. Uh, several students in fact gave the feedback that the CAT appeared an extension of the SIMCATs and the eMaximizer workshops. Uh, drilling down to each individual section now, if you look at the first section of verbal ability and reading comprehension, the overall difficulty level of VARC uh, was medium, bordering on the difficult in slot 2. Uh, and this was of course a bit tougher than slot 1. Uh, IMS students would have recalled SIMCATs 2, 4, 8 and 13 when they saw the actual CAT. The CAT uh, VARC section uh, in slot 2 matched the difficulty level and segmentation of these SIMCATs. The VARC section was a replica of the first slot and of CAT 2018 in terms of question types. So grammar and vocab questions were absent as has been the case in the last four years. Uh, the RC section had four passages with five questions each and one passage with four questions making up the, to the total 24 questions. Uh, direct and easy questions were fewer. Most of the questions were inference based and similar to the ones in the first lot. 
there were also several critical reasoning type questions. Uh, I think these seem to have become like a feature of RC since the last year. Uh, the length of the passages varied from about 400 words to 500 words. Uh, similar to the CAT last year, the paragraph jumbled questions consisted of four jumbled sentences. Um, of the 10 non-RC, that is the verbal ability questions, um, three of them were multiple choice questions and seven were theta based questions. Uh, so three out of context sentence questions were all theta based. Uh, four paragraph jumbles were again all theta based. Uh, the three paragraph summary or author's uh, opinion questions were MCQs with negative marks. So if you go down to a little more detail, as you can see on the table, um, the RC section, 24 questions, all multiple choice, um, we would classify the level of difficulty as medium to difficult. Uh, the first RC, which is based on British colonialism, had five questions of MCQ types and this was probably the most difficult of the passages. The second RC, based on language and cultural identity, had four MCQ questions, medium difficulty level. The third one, Digital Colonialism by Google had five MCQ questions, again of medium difficulty. Uh, the fourth passage was on decentralization of central governments. Uh, these, uh, this passage had five MCQ questions classified as easy. Uh, and the last set, uh, the last passage rather, was on squatter colonies having five MCQ questions that were again classified as easy. Uh, the verbal ability section, as we saw earlier, had 10 questions, a mix of MCQs and thetas. Again, in terms of level of difficulty, can be classified as medium to difficult. Um, the four parajumble questions of four sentences each were all theta type. Um, out of these four, one question could be classified as easy, one medium, and two of them difficult. Uh, out of the three out of context sentence questions, which were again all theta type, uh, two were medium and one was difficult and uh, uh, there were three summary based questions which are all MCQs, uh, one each of easy, medium and difficult type. Uh, overall an attempt of about 23 to 25 questions in this section with 85% accuracy should be a good bet. Moving on to the second section of data interpretation and logical reasoning. Uh, the DILR section had a total of 8 sets with 4 questions in each set. Unlike slot 1, in slot 2 there were exactly 4 sets of DI and 4 sets of LR. There were 2 easy sets, 4 medium and 2 difficult sets. Uh, this section was one notch easier than CAT 2018. However, selection of right sets to attempt was the key in this section. Some sets appeared easy but were difficult to comprehend. For example, the set on professors setting question papers, which in the table is shown as set 4, definitely fell in that category. The set on rifle shooting tournament, which is shown as set 7, was not very difficult per se, but it was lengthy. These sets should have been attempted only after attempting other sets. As per the feedback from students, two questions in the set on doctors were easy. Those questions could have been still attempted, though the set itself was not very straightforward. Some of the sets were really easy and they should have been definitely solved. Examples of such sets were the ones based on spider web chart on revenue on three products, that is set 5, and the set on scatter plot on rainfall, that is set 6. There were 8 theta questions in this section. All the theta questions were on DI and there was not a single theta question on LR sets. The eight theta questions were distributed among three sets. So one set had all four theta questions, while two other sets had two theta questions each. A detailed description of the sets in this section is shown on your screen. Um, so the first set, which had a three by three grid of coins in pouches, right, was a DI reasoning based set having four questions, uh, four theta questions of medium difficulty level. The second set, which was on doctor's schedules, had a table. Uh, it, was a, it was an LR question, LR set with four MCQs, which were difficult. Uh, the third set was a caselet on two proposals being considered in a college, right? Uh, this was a reasoning based DI question. 
uh, DI set having two MCQs and two theta questions, all of them of medium difficulty level. The fourth set was again a caselet uh, of professors setting papers for midterm and final exams. As we've seen earlier, uh, these, this set had four difficult uh, MCQs. The fifth set on spider web chart, revenue and cost of three products over three years uh, was a calculation based DI set having four easy questions. Two of them were theta, two of them were MCQs. The sixth set was a scatter plot with the rainfall in 16 cities. Um, this was more of an observation based DI set with four easy MCQ questions. Uh, the seventh set on rifle shooting tournament was an LR set right, um, which had four MCQ questions could be classified as medium. Uh, and the last set had five people speaking different languages and formation of teams. It was again a, an LR set um, mainly dealing with groupings and conditionalities. This also had four MCQ questions which could be classified as medium difficulty level. So overall the section was marginally easier as compared to last year's CAT. Uh, an attempt of around five sets which means about 18 to 20 questions in this section with about 85 to 90 percent accuracy should see you get a percentile in the vicinity of about 99, right? Uh, so compared to slot 1 of, uh, of CAT 2019, DILR section of slot 2 was marginally tougher. Moving on finally to the third section, quantitative ability. Uh, this section was about easy to medium in terms of level of difficulty. Uh, it was easier than the QA section of 2018. This section was dominated by arithmetic with as many as 13 questions, followed by algebra and geometry with 6 questions each, modern math with 5 questions and numbers having 4 questions. Um, like slot 1, there were exactly 11 TDA questions in this section also. As per the feedback received from students, a number of questions asked in the IMS SimCats as well as the PreCat were similar to questions in this particular section for slot 2. Given here is the area wise breakup of the questions in this particular section. So as I said, uh, there were four numbers questions, uh, two questions were easy, two of them were difficult. Of the 13 arithmetic questions, as many as nine of them could be classified as easy questions. Um, three would be medium difficulty level and one was difficult. Um, six algebra questions had about three easy questions, two medium level difficulty level and one difficult question. Geometry six questions, one easy, three medium and two difficult questions and finally modern math uh, had five questions with three of them being easy and one each of medium and difficult level of difficulty. So our initial estimate for 99 percentile in this section is about 60, for 95 percentile it will be 42, for 90 percentile it will be 33 and for 85 percentile it will be 20. Um, as compared to slot 1 of CAT 2019, uh, the QA section of slot 2 was marginally easier. Uh, so looking at the overall test experience, of, as we know about 2.44 lakh candidates registered for the CAT uh, in this year uh, and they will be appearing for it uh, across 156 cities in 370 exam centers. Um, if you have a look at the process, the administrative process of the test was fairly smooth. Uh, there were no glitches that were reported. Uh, as in the past, the policy of no shoes, no metallic objects, including metal jewelry, etc., prevailed. Only the admit card and the ID proof was allowed inside, nothing else. Uh, as in the previous years, the authorities took possession of the admit cards. The candidates were given a small pad with the I am cat logo on the cover. It had about 32 pages for rough work and a pen which were again taken away at the end of the exam. So really, uh, you know, one came out of the cat with no proof of having appeared for the test except of course for your good memories. Moving on to the test interface. The test interface was exactly what IMS students are used to in the SimCats and specifically in the PreCat. It was a very user friendly interface and exactly the one provided in the official CAT mock test. There were no subdivisions within each section. The VARC questions were not interspersed within the section. The first 24 questions were clearly RC and the remaining 10 were VA. However, the different VA question types 
were shuffled. Similarly, the DI and LR sects were also not interspersed. Um, a simple calculator was provided, not a scientific one. There was an arrow provided near the question palette, which when clicked expanded the question window to a full screen view by hiding the question palette and could be turned off as well. Uh, at the end of the test, a summary of the number of questions attempted, visited and not visited was displayed for each section. There was a button that was marked question paper, which opened up a screen containing all the questions of the section. This was of course used by students uh, for planning their approach in the section. So CAT 2019 in the second slot was fairly similar to the first slot and overall a slightly more difficult test than slot 1 in two sections specifically VARC and DILR. Uh, each section was of course timed for 60 minutes, one could not go back and forth between the sections. Uh, the marking scheme was also similar to last year with plus 3 for every correct answer and minus 1 for incorrect answers for the MCQs. Uh, of course for TETA questions there was no negative mark. Right? Um, so that brings us to the end of the analysis for slot 2 of CAT 2019. All the best to all.